Marcus, are you sitting down? Yep. I just got you a $20 million payday. What? $20 million? What's the role? Neptune Jones, space detective. You travel the universe solving intergalactic crime. You're Sherlock Holmes in space, only this time Watson's a chimp. Uh, Marcus better be playing Sherlock. Of course he is. <laughs> Bobby, 20 million is a big payday, but that role sounds horrible. Besides, I'm not into acting right now. Uh, stupid! <clears throat> you okay? No, I'm allergic to poverty. Look, I know you guys want me to make movies, but I'm happy teaching. And besides, I can't bail on my kids. Bail on your kids? For 20 million, you can buy new and improved kids. Locked off the sensation Marcus Jackson is being prosecuted for his recent mishap with the paparazzi. I find you guilty as charged and order you to teach a class at South Central High School. Let's do it. As you read in Richard Wright's novel, even though slavery ended, our main character was still under the thumb of his oppressors. Any questions? No one. Who thinks I'm wasting my time up here? Marcus, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm in the middle of teaching. Who am I kidding? Make it quick. Hey, kids, take a break. Plan your next robbery. What's up, Marcus? Hey, what are you two doing here? It's pizza day. <laughs> Bobby, what's so important you had to interrupt my class? I'm sorry, Marcus. I have terrible news. Your accountants have been caught stealing red-handed. They're being investigated for fraud. Give me a break. I've been with those guys for years. They wouldn't cheat me out of a nickel. It's a lot more than a nickel. They're laundering money and they're running it through your account. The case has been handed over to the FBI. See, that's why I don't let anyone handle my money. You don't have any money. That's the other reason. Man, this is crazy. What are we gonna do without Marcus's money? I'm gonna have to go back into advertising. You were never into advertising. You were on a corner, twirling the sign. Guys, relax, okay? They're gonna have to sort it out. I got millions in assets. Your assets looking good to me. Wait a minute. Can you joke at a time like this? Marcus has been ripped off by his accountant. He's broke. Hold me. You're broke? Marcus, are you destitute? No, Wait I'm... a minute. Marcus has morals. He would never become a destitute. But is this head of yours just deflect knowledge? Is that it? Everybody, relax. I'm fine. <laughs> That's what MC Hammer said. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Stop. Stop. Marcus. What? You're broke? <laughs> well, hey, you need a place to sleep? Or rent you my car? Look, Marcus. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Let me make some calls. Oh, uh, uh, we appreciate the gesture, but everything that can be done is being done. Oh, I'm not making a call for him. I'm calling the Inquirer. <laughs> Daddy's gonna make some money off of this one. No offense, but someone just got a whole lot less attractive. Uh-uh. Will y'all just chill out? I own a multi-million dollar estate in Bel Air and a ton of other stuff. Trust me, I'm good. <laughs> we got your back, man. Yeah. Which one of you is Marcus Jackson? He is! I guess that's me. Whitmer Hennessy of the U.S. Department of Justice. You're served. Ooh! <laughs> served for what? We know you and your accountants have been laundering money. We've seized all of your properties and are blocking access to every one of your accounts. That's ridiculous! My client is innocent! That's what they all say. This is a mistake. How long does a process like this take? Let me put it this way. I just closed the book on my first case. It started when I was 20. <laughs> hey, I hope you're an old-looking 21-year-old. Marcus, you're all right, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. You still have your talent. They can't take that away from you. Talent? Forget about his talent. What about us? We're a posse to a broke criminal. Listen, don't stress out. I'm gonna go talk to Mr. Hennessy right now and do what I do. Ah, oh, Arnie, Arnie, Arnie! You were fantastic. You were so convincing, I believed you myself. The pleasure was all mine, Bobby. I love doing improv. <laughs> oh, you scared the stuffing out of him. Marcus will be out of teaching and back to acting in no time. Ooh, thanks, Bobby. Thank you. See you on the golf course. <laughs> This is 
is messed up. What are we gonna do for money? I know. I don't know. I can't sell a kidney. I only have two left. Forget your kidney. I can't go to jail. You know what happens when you go to jail? You got a roommate named Otis. Next thing you know, you got a tattoo on your arm that says Otis. Marcus, chill out. I mean, it ain't that bad. I mean, you get free food. You get to lift weights all day. You can even take up a trade, like braiding hair. All right, guys, let's just calm down. I'm innocent. And first of all, I'm not completely broke. I still got my teacher's salary. Are you serious? It costs over $200,000 a month just to maintain this place. And that doesn't include those gas-guzzling cars of yours. Marcus, I told you to get a hybrid. Oh, no, I just remembered I donated my teacher's salary to the school for supplies. Marcus, you gave our money to the needy? How could you be so selfish? I'm gonna go to Principal Martin's office and see if I can get my salary back. And in the meantime, you guys fend for yourselves. What does spin mean? It means we're gonna starve. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in a bit of a bind. Yeah, I understand. And I would love to give you back your pay, but of course that means we'd have to return everything that we bought with it. What do you mean, like all the computers? Computers? <laughs> Come on, you don't make that much. More like the one and only computer. That's it? Yeah, and by the way, you still owe us for the keyboard. <laughs> What is he doing to our new computer? Uh, it's no big deal. I'm just taking it back because your teacher decided that his own selfish needs were more important in your education. Yeah, he knew you would understand. How am I gonna surf the web? How am I gonna stalk my ex? How am I gonna change my test scores? I'm sorry, I'm in a bind. You get off. We use that computer every day. Where do you expect us to go? The library? Yeah. What's wrong with that? That's where I went when I was your age. Uh, they closed the public library in South Central three years ago. I mean, they turned it into like a tennis salon. I can't understand why it went out of business. OK, fine. Keep the computer. Okay. I'll just figure out a different way to make some money. Uh, two words, lemonade stand. <laughs> I love this. I love seeing you broke. <laughs> Not dog food. What'd you tell him, Mr. Dog Whisperer? To go for my juggler? And I didn't think it was gonna be this hard. I don't care. I'm not going back out there. Those vicious beasts can find their own way home. Hey guys, anybody know anything about these puppies? Ah! Those are puppies? Those are killer dogs. They're killer dogs. Go for your life. They gonna eat you. They gonna eat you. They gonna eat you. Hey, what's wrong? I don't know what's wrong, but you guys are so cute. And you're much smarter than they are. Bobby, my bills are piling up, and this thing isn't getting resolved as fast as I thought it would. I know, those darn accountants. If I knew where they were, I'd choke the life out of them. Probably in Fiji, living it up on your money. So I, I need a favor. Anything. Can I borrow like 200 grand until this whole thing blows over? No, 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 Marcus, you don't need a loan. You need to play Neptune Jones, then all your troubles will be over. Well, I'm not doing that, because that part is terrible. The part in the film or the part where they pay you 20 million. I'm not doing it, Bobby. How about the loan? I am sorry, Marcus, I have a very strict policy. I do not loan money to friends. Would it make a difference if I told you I never liked you? Don't be ridiculous. We're best friends. I need help, Bobby. Look, you're the one who wanted to be a teacher, so now you get to see what it's like to live as one. Uh... Hey. How's it going? Terrible. Things are so bad, I had to bring my own lunch today. Haven't done that since I was 16. Wait, isn't this a bag from Satino's, the fanciest restaurant in Beverly Hills? So, that's besides the point. I haven't been on a budget in years. Listen, I hope that the best parts of Marcus Jackson aren't his big bank account and fancy cars. I happen to think that the greatest parts of you, money can't buy. Are you serious? Absolutely. 
I believe in you, Marcus. You're one of the good ones. And one of the broke ones, too. <laughs> Thanks, Samantha. That means a lot coming from you. So do you mind if I borrow $500 until payday? I'd love to. But look at the time. You know what? I gotta go put some money in the meter, so I'll see you later. Huh? Bye -bye. Hey, there's no meters in the teacher's parking lot. I didn't mean to be eavesdropping on you, oh king of cosmos. <laughs> but while I was eavesdropping on you, I heard your heart up for cash. Yeah, that's true. I'm broke. Well, maybe we can solve both of our problems. You need money, and I need indoor plumbing. Wait, you want me to rent you a room? I'm just concerned with indoor plumbing, but if that comes with a room, it's a deal. There's no offer here. I don't need any roommates. Sorry. That is too bad. Because mm -hmm. I was going to pay you $300,000 a month. Oh, oh, hold up, 300000 here, come, let me talk to you, man. Okay. Oh, 300000 I'll take it. That's intergalactic dollars. No, 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 I need that Earth money. How much is that? 300 bucks. Mm. I'll think about it. You do that. This is cool. Every pin I had into this Mexican soul food idea. And it better work. They got a lunch bell. Okay. Here goes nothing. All right. Welcome to Nacho Daddy, the world's first Mexican soul food cart. My, my. What an interesting array of urban and Mexican cuisine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get it. How can you charge so little? Everything's a quarter. I just start starting off prices. We'll try to build a following. 25 cents? Yep. How? Count me in. Uh, I'll have the uh, mac and cheese chimichanga. Here you go, you perfect specimen. Thank you, baby. I'm going with the hot link. Yes, the there you go. I might fix that list. <laughs> I'll have the uh, gordita and waffles. Ooh. Okay, so good choice. Uh, four of you, that'll be $1. $1. One dollar. There's $1. Keep the change. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, this is delicious. Yeah, this is the best Mexican soul food I've ever eaten. And it's the only Mexican soul food I've ever eaten. <laughs> but how can they sell it for only 25 cents? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ow. Is, is anybody else's stomach cramping up? Oh my goodness, I need to use the facilities. Ladies first, how do I wait for There's no toilet paper in there! There's not anywhere! Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's not a problem. <laughs> We're a full service food car. <gasps> Nacho Daddy's toilet paper. Twenty dollars a roll. Twenty dollars a roll? That's highway robbery! Here! Go back and see us now. Okay. Go deep. Uh, relax your muscles. You got change for 50. Uh, let me see. One, two. I messed up. Let me do it again. Oh, give me the roll. $50. I know. You want me to keep the change. Yes. <laughs> yes. You were right. <laughs> The Mexican soul food scam was profitable. <laughs> I told you, I told you, we were on a roll, right? Get it? A roll? <laughs> on everything. <laughs> Whoa. What are you doing here? I'm enjoying my me time clipping a toenail. No, really. Why are you here? Why are any of us here? <laughs> oh, incoming. Ow. Ah. That freak hit me in my eye. I've been blinded by an intergalactic toenail. Marcus! What? Yo, Marcus, want to explain what Manicure Martian is doing here? Obviously, I'm desperate. I needed to rent out a room to help pay the mortgage. Woo! Oh, oh, toenail just went oh, in your drink. Ah. Uh, <gasps> oh, okay, this is it. I don't care how bad Neptune Jones is, I'm calling Bobby and I'm taking the roll. Toenail. 
Hey, Marcus. Hey. You got a second? Sure. Man, something's been bugging me. What's up? You know that FBI guy that served you papers the other day? Yeah. I don't think he's with the FBI. Why do you say that? Because he's that actor from that used car lot commercial. You know, the one the guy says, if you buy a bug, oh, eat a bug. Oh, man, Freddie, I think you're right. I knew that guy looked familiar. But why would he pretend to be an FBI agent? I don't know. You might want to ask that annoying friend of yours. <laughs> Which one? All my friends are annoying. You know, the one that parks in the handicapped space and nothing's wrong with him. Oh, Bobby? <laughs> what about him? I saw him giving that actor guy some money. Why would he do that? <sighs> okay, okay. Are you going to tell me? Stay tuned. What channel? I All right, fellas, 21. African American Jack. <laughs> Marcus, I rushed over as soon as you called. Let's talk about the movie. Nope, let's just wait till the new head of the studio gets here. Harry Johnson's coming here? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. I've always wanted to meet him. Oh, wow. That should be him right there. <clears throat> hey, tell us the good news about the movie at the same time. Mm -hmm. I like surprise. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, come in. Marcus, please, call me Barry. It's an honor to meet you. I've been following your career for years. Thank you. I'm Bobby Gold. I'm Marcus' agent. No doubt you've heard about me, too. Unfortunately, yes. But I'm here anyway. Here you go, Marcus. I've got 20 million reasons for you to say yes to my movie. Yes, yes, yes! 20 million times, yes! I would love to do it, but there's one problem. Neptune Jones is the worst script that I have ever read. And you could pay me a hundred million dollars and I would still never, ever do it. Oh, oh Mark, are you crazy? Somebody get me some scotch tape stack. I know a bank that'll still take this. It's 20 million dollars. Forget it, Bobby. We don't need to be in business with this clown. You can't talk to me that way, you washed up wannabe. You'll never work in this town again. Good, because I don't want to work in this town again. I'm a teacher, and at this moment, I am officially retired from the game. Oh, Barry, don't listen to him. He's a brain donor. Forget it. I'm out of here. No, Barry, Bubby, listen. He, he's a comedian. He's joking. We'll, we'll do it for 19 even. Okay, 18, five. Oh, wait, wait, 17. He'll do it on stunts. Guys, you think he had enough? No, 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 no. Can you go? I hope so. I'm losing circulation in my leg. Bobby, get off. What? What's going on? Bobby, we're on to your scam. Your little FBI agent is nothing more than a used car salesman. You know what? You are officially busted! I, I knew he wasn't a studio head. Yeah, because of that cheap fabric. <laughs> Listen, Marcus, I'm sorry for lying. Mm -hmm. Just doing my job. All right. That $20 million offer was real. Yeah, and so were my reasons for not accepting it. The bottom line is I will never be driven by money. Capiche? All right. I got it, Marcus. <laughs> hey, dude. Great job. Well done. All right. uh, Mr. Gold, can I give you my headshot? No! <laughs> hey, Tony and Jamal, I heard what happened at school today with your delicious Mexican soul food. No, 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 no. How about you hook up Bobby with one of your special burritos? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Yeah. I'll go grab him one. <laughs> and it's on the house. It's for my new food cart. And I promise you, you'll be running back for more. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. I did work up an appetite from all that groveling. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Can I get another one? I got a long drive home. I know I'm going to be stuck in traffic. You know what? There's a lot more where that came from. And get him a napkin. And a diaper.